Welcome back to Daytime Auto. I was going to say my next guest is going to put a smile on your face, but I should say my next two guests are going to put a smile on your face um, because they've come up with so many wonderful ideas. Um, you know what? I'll just let them share it with you. I'm joined by Nicole Mayette. She's the owner of Blow Up the Balloon Productions, and she's joined by Iggy T. Hippo. Welcome, yeah. Nicole Thank you so and much. Iggy. Thank you. Wonderful Good to, to have be here. you. Nicole, I'll start with you. Um, let's, let's talk a little bit about Blow Up the Balloon Productions. Uh, give me an idea of the inspiration behind it. Sure. Well, um, the name actually came from um, just something. I, I, I've made a lot of birthday cards for people in the past. Okay. I still do, actually. It's just one of my little things. Nice. And I used to include a balloon. I still include balloons in their birthday cards. So when it came time to put a little company name together, it just sort of seemed to fit. That was about it. But there's probably more meaning in that as well because I've, well, we've written a couple of children's books mm -hmm. now. We have a, a delightful website, and who knows what's going to come. So I figured with that little production's name there at the I end, love it. That would I be, love it. Yeah. Tell me about uh, Iggy T. Hippo here. Where, where, did he, sure. where, where, where did that idea come from? So Iggy and I have been together. We first met when I was 17. Okay. So that's quite a few years ago now. <laughs> and um, uh, he, just, he just naturally fit into my life. Okay. Kind of maybe like a little therapy puppet, if right. that makes sense. Yeah, so that Iggy's makes sense. been through all kinds of stuff with me. And uh, we continue to do things together. And of course, um, Iggy was part of my life and Matthew's life, my son. He'll be 30 years old tomorrow. Happy birthday, Matthew. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Iggy is just, he's, he's an extension of who I am. Okay. And through Iggy, of course, the books were written, but more than that, it's the website. The, the website is really, it's, yeah, it's in you, Iggy's voice. I told you I was on, on the website. So and happy it was, that you went. Well, in the activity center. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Yeah. But I, I'm just going to show some of these illustrations. I do have both books here, which um, I'll show off. And, while I, and then I'll show some of the illustrations. But Iggy, my understanding, was born in Zambia, right? In, in the province of what, Lusaka? That's Is absolutely that okay. right. Okay. Yep. And so what brought him to, to Ottawa, Canada? His parents wanted him to have a better education. Okay. So okay. he found himself in uh, Hipposori School, which is very, very similar to Montessori School. Okay. And um, our paths crossed. He needed a sponsor family. Nice. And so that's how that came to be. I just showed off these, these two books. Tell me the, the idea behind both of these books. Oh, my goodness. Well, the first one, Artwork and Numbers, actually that was the second one written. Iggy shows off his skill at um, arts, okay. his drawing. Nice. Yeah, very, very talented. And it's a learning book. So kids are learning to count from one to ten with some wonderful okay. illustrations. And then, uh, spoiler alert, they get to count all the way to 55 nice. at the end. So it is really a, a cute little learning book. Where does Iggy Hippo go? Uh, when Matthew was a baby, we'd lay down in bed together before sleep time, and we would talk about what Iggy might do once we fell asleep. Okay. So when he got I real. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that was, that was a good I'm going to show some of these illustrations and while I do, while I do that, you, you did mention the website and that's a big part of, of Iggy's story and, and what it's you huge. do. Um, tell me about that, that sort of that action center that, that's available and, and what you offer to, to kids and parents there on the uh, website. The activity center is so much fun. It's so much fun for me to be able to play with this. The goal, the purpose of it is to introduce children to all of the possibilities that exist in their little lives. Right. So that they can learn who they are. Um, they can learn by asking questions. They can learn by doing meditation and yoga, arts and crafts. They can learn um, about doing things, just walking around in the neighborhood and making a map of where they're living. There's just I'm so happy that this has come to yeah, pass. It's yeah. pretty exciting. It is. Um, yeah, it's, it's just to give children an opportunity to have a safe environment, also to interact with Iggy. Right. All through the website, the children are asked for their, their opinions, their thoughts. Do they want to send artwork in? Do they want to send their Lego creations in? There's just endless and, opportunities. Yeah, and one of his passions, too, is... Um, is 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 littering 
Where did that passion come from? Because that's part of the, the, the website is Iggy's Thoughts, right? Yeah, yeah, his, his op-ed. Yeah. Um, this is a place where he can just kind of share his thoughts, that's right. Okay. Um, well, I was walking around my neighborhood the mm. other day, and I was, I was a little bit sad. You know, yeah. as to how much littering was there. So, especially, especially as the snow melts, and I, oh. I think you could probably speak to this. I mean, whenever springtime comes around, it is—it's pretty shocking in our neighborhoods how much litter we see. It's a lot. Yeah. So, in that particular little piece that he wrote, I guess what he's trying to impart is that someone's littering, someone's actually doing this, mm -hmm. and we have choices. Right. We don't have to yeah. do that. So again, it's to kind of grab them at an early age so that hopefully as they're transitioning into adulthood, that they won't drop their Tim Hortons. The two of you are very creative. So as you said, you, you, you've you called it, you know, sort of a production company yeah. because that you see different opportunities. Well, where do you see the future of, of Iggy and, and uh, Blow Up the Balloon Productions? I'm, I'm wondering if at some point in time we might not do some kind of videos. You know, I don't have okay. anybody in my family or close circle of friends that is camera savvy. I certainly am not. <laughs> I'm not either. That's why I'm in front of the camera. Yeah. But um, <laughs> no, I, I can see him doing, you know, some of the songs. We've, I've written quite a few songs okay. and I can see him doing that. Um, um, I don't know. We might have something that goes along those lines, but I, you know, I, I just, I don't know, but I, I think there's more. Well, I can see an animated show, like a, you know, a cartoon. I thought about that the other day. Yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, just these illustrate, do you do the illustrate? Who does? No, no. I'm a I'm a stick girl yeah, kind of thing. Okay. Like, no, no, no. So thank God I met up with Yulia. She's a, an art teacher, wonderful, wonderful person in my life. We've put these two together. We're working on a third nice. book, actually. Yeah, I mean, just the themes and the illustrations are, are absolutely beautiful. Very quickly, Nicole, where can people pick up a copy of the book? At uh, www.blowuptheballoonproductions.ca. Iggy's okay. website. Excellent. We're at the Ottawa Library. We're in the system. Wonderful. There. Pleasure yeah. meeting you, Nicole. Oh my and God! You, thank Iggy. you so much. Oh, thank Thanks you so much for us. having us. We'll be right back after this.